what does that even mean, Bowers Game Boy? Hey there, YouTube. I'm back again for another How to Play video. And today, I'm very excited to teach you how to play Gremlins Holiday Havoc card game. This is for three to five players, ages eight plus from Funko Games. And the first thing you're going to want to do is everyone is going to select one of these oversized cards and place them in front of you. Any other cards can be put back in the box that are not used. Next, you're going to take all of these red back Gremlin cards. You're going to shuffle them up, and you're going to evenly deal them out to all the players in the game. Do not look at these cards. Just place them right below your location. So the youngest player is going to go first, and on your turn, you're always going to flip over the top card of your deck like so. You're going to grab it at the top, and then you're going to flip it like this to make sure that everyone sees it before you do. Once the card has been flipped over, there's one of four things that are going to potentially happen. Now, the first thing that might happen is that there's no matches anywhere on the board, and no special cards have been played. So this is not a special card. There's no other cards to match with. So in this scenario, this player's turn would be done, and then it would move to the left, and it always goes clockwise around the table, and then once again, this player is going to grab from the front of their card and flip it over like so. Now, in this turn, we do have some action because these two top cards match. If this ever happens, any of the players at the table are now going to try and slap one of the two piles. When you're slapping, you can only slap one location at a time. You can't do that. And you can only use one hand at a time. However, the first two people who do end up slapping them are going to win the cards in that pile. Which in this particular instance would only be one card, but typically it might be a larger pile of cards. So let's pretend that these two players right here were the two that slapped the piles. They'll take those cards and they'll put them face up in their discard pile. And then it would go over to the next player right here, who would once again flip from the top and do this. Flip from the top and do this. Now the next scenario that we might see happen, we're going to see right now on this player right here. So they have a red underneath, and they just played another red on top of that. This is considered another type of match, and once again, the first player to slap on this pile is then going to win all those cards and put them into their victory pile. So let's pretend that this player was the first player to slap those two reds. They would get those right there. So you're either going to have nothing happen, you're going to match with someone else, or a player is going to match with himself. But there are three special cards that will be mixed into the game, and whenever they appear, you're going to do something immediately. So let's talk about them. First, we have the multiply cards. If you flip a multiply card, you must immediately flip three cards from the top of your Grenlim deck into your location deck. Now, it, while you're flipping, if any cards can be slapped before all three cards are flipped, then you just stop flipping. Likewise, if while flipping you happen to flip another multiply card, then that just re-triggers the whole thing. So for instance, if on your second card you... And you would have to draw three new cards. If you happen to flip another multiply card, you must stop the current multiply and then flip over three new cards with the same rules as before. Next, we have Gizmo cards. And if you flip a Gizmo card, the first player to slap any other location cards take all the cards of those locations. So let's pretend that this player played the Gizmo card. People would be racing to slap the other locations. And after all the other locations are slapped, the Gizmo card and any cards underneath it are just completely removed from the game. You can put them back into the box. And if you ever accidentally slap a pile you're not supposed to, there's no penalty in the game. But the last card we need to talk about, which will also impact how the game will end, is the Sunrise card right here. So whenever someone flips the Sunrise card, the first player to slap that location is going to take all those cards and then place them into their discard victory pile. So let's pretend this player had played this, this player comes over, they slap it. Well, eventually what's going to happen is this player is going to completely run out of cards to play. And once that happens for any player, you're going to take all the face-up cards in your discard pile, shuffle them up, and then form a new pile. And after the second time the Sunrise card gets flipped and slapped and someone wins that pile, the game is then immediately over. At this point, each player is going to count the number of cards in their Gremlin deck and whoever has the most wins. If there's a tie, the tied player with the most multiply cards in their deck wins. And if there's a tie after that, the game is considered a draw boohoo. But that is how you're going to play the Gremlins Holiday Havoc card game. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you enjoy learning new games since I post videos all the time. And as always, go have some fun and thanks for your time, YouTube. This video is brought to you by all of my amazing Patreon supporters. And I would love it if you would join their ranks and have your name immortalized in the end of many of my videos for the end of time. But consider for only a dollar a month. And as always, thanks for stopping by.